Hey there! In the previous video, when we searched for London, we've got the weather data for London. But when we searched for New York, we got the error message City Not Found. So why is that? Well, because sometimes it may happen that after the execution of the fetch function, we don't have the weather data for a city. When this is the case, we get code 404. So to avoid such situations, before converting this into a JSON object, we need to do a check. Let's do this by typing if response.status doesn't equal to 200. I'm just reminding you that there are different HTTP status codes. When it is 200, everything is OK. When we get other responses, then something didn't go as expected. For instance, when we get 404, it means that the requested resource could not be found. So, if response.status doesn't equal to 200, we need to inform the user that the city was not found. And then we need to stop the execution of the function. To do this, we type in the return keyword. We can delete console.log. Now here, where we call the getWeatherByCityName function, we type in if not weather, which means that the value of the weather variable is either null or undefined. So if it is true, then these actions must not be executed. So we again add the word return. Let's check it out. We select London, United Kingdom, and we get the weather data. Let's search for New York. And we've got the message that informs us that the city was not found. OK. Well, you may ask, why didn't we get the weather data when we searched for New York? Here's the answer. We use the Open Weather Map API that provides two options for searching cities by name. The first option is to only use the city name. The second option is to use the city name plus the name of the country. As you can see, for this city we have New York City and then New York. In this case, Open Weather Map tries to find New York inside of New York City. Of course, it doesn't work, and that's why we got the error message. The sentence written in the search box is a string value. So to make it work, out of this sentence, we need to take the city name. In other words, we need to take everything before the first comma. And then we need to take everything that is written after the last comma. As a result, we will get two substrings. After that, we need to combine the first and the second substring and then make a request. To implement this, we need to make some adjustments to the getWeatherByCityName function. Let's change here from city to city string. The first thing that we need to do is check whether the value of the city string variable has any commas. If no commas, then we simply use this value. If there are commas, then we need to take everything before the first comma and then also take everything after the last comma. And of course, combine the substrings together. So we type in if city string includes comma. Let's create a variable called city. And then we type city equals to city string dot substring. From zero and up to the index of the first comma. So it is city string dot index of comma. Then we use the plus sign to combine the two substrings. And we type in city string dot substring. For the first parameter, we specify that the substring has to be taken from the index of the last comma. Since we take the substring up to the end of the string, we don't need to specify the value of the second parameter. When there is no comma in the string value, then city equals to city string. 
Save it and refresh the page. Let's check one more time New York City, New York, United States. And this time, we see that the weather data for New York has been displayed. If we just use the text New York and then hit Enter, in this case, the weather data is also displayed on the web page. Excellent, it works. Let's delete the command on line 114. We don't need it anymore. Now let me show you what we are going to implement. When we refresh the page, we see the text your city, city, day, and so on. It is just a dummy text. But we need to make it so that when we open our project, the correct weather data is displayed for the city that we will specify as the default city. I propose to use Dubai. Ok, let's implement this. We create a function called init, which is a shorthand of the word initialization. This function is going to search for the weather data of the city Dubai, and the result will be displayed on the web page. Well, in fact, we need to execute these actions. So we can copy these lines of code. Then create a new function called weather for city and paste what we've copied before. Here we use search input.value. So let's pass the value of the city variable to the function. Instead of search input.value, we set city. Now here we just need to call the function that we've just created. And in this case, we pass search input.value to the function. Don't forget to add the word async because we use the word await in this function. Now we just need to call the weather for city function for the city Dubai. Finally, we call the init function. Save it and let's see what we'll get. Refresh the page. And we immediately got the weather data for Dubai. Let's type in Paris and then hit enter. It works. We've got the weather data for the city of love, Paris. Ok, let me show you what we're going to implement. It is the last thing that we still need to do. As you can see, when I refresh the page, before displaying the weather data of Dubai, the dummy text is displayed for just several milliseconds. When we refresh the page, the data has to be updated smoothly, but it's not the case. Let's make it so that when the page is uploading, this visual effect is applied. We can easily implement it. Go to the CSS file, and let's set the special CSS property for body. This CSS property is called filter. We set blur as the value. And then we add 15 pixels in the parenthesis. By setting 15 pixels, we specified how much blur we want to be applied to the web page. Refresh the page, and now the blur effect has been applied to our web page. Of course, we need to get rid of this effect when the web page is uploaded. Go to the JS file. The weather for city function is an asynchronous function. That's why we can add dot then. And then document.body.style.filter equals to blur with the value 0. And to make this transition from the blurred effect to the normal look smoothly, we add transition filter 0 0.25 second. Refresh the page. Ok, let's change the value from 0 0.25 to 0 0.5. F 
Final check. Let's search for Chicago. It works. Really nice. My congratulations. You can add plus one project to your portfolio. I hope you like this project. So take care and see you in the next lesson.